Hello everyone, this is our Matrix, welcoming you to episode 25, I think, I hope, of Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Last time, we heard that Bowser has a deep, dark, terrible secret, and hopefully we'll get to hear it now. Let's see. Oh yeah, Malago Comfort Bowser. Bowser's all, like, happy, but slash pissed off looking now. Excuse me, sir. Perhaps I can set the stage and the others can add their comments along the way. What do you know about- Whoa! What the f- Where- Mario just, like, jumped to nowhere. The princess, Bowser, and Mario were thrown in different directions after a terrible explosion. Something huge crashed above Star Road and Bowser's place in- And went- Kaboom! Just like that. That's how- Even his mouth is flapping like- <laughs> o Oops. I shouldn't have said that. But, like, the swords was. <laughs> right into Bowser's Keep. It was a gigantic sword. Now Bowser's Keep has been taken over by monsters who work for some creep named Smithy. They've thrown me out of my own. I mean, I decided to take a vacation. They can't do this to me. Anyway, I was going to work. I was, I was working on a plan to get my house back when... Mario walked up to me and begged me to let him join the Cooper Troop. I had no choice but to let him in. It was pathetic. No, 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 that's not the true story. Come on, he's embellishing it. Oh my god. It's okay, Bowser. We know Bowser's stretching the truth a little. And Mallow, how about you? Why are you traveling with Mario? Well, because Mario is helping me find my real home. And my parents. That's why we're here on the road together. On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. What? This is dreadful news. Awful. Horrible. I hope you find your real parents soon. And, um... Gino, was it? Why are you with Mario? The Star Road has been destroyed. I'm here to fix it. Mario's helping me search for the Star Pieces. I need them to rebuild the road. Star Pieces? The Star Road grants our wishes. Unless we find all the Star Pieces and fix Star Road, we can kiss our dreams goodbye. Adios, dreams. What? This is dreadful news. Awful, horrible, recycled text for the win. Isn't it? <laughs> of course it is! What the hell? Indeed. For example, say Bowser kidnapped you. Without the A of Star Road, you'd probably never be rescued. Actually, that sounds pretty good to me. Let's just forget about these star things. Come on, Bowser. Great, Bowser. Then you can just kiss your precious keep goodbye. Huh? What? Huh. Let's see. If Mario can't find the stars, Toadstool will be mine. But I won't get my keep back unless Mario finds the stars. So if I want my keep back, we need to get those star things. But, huh? Run that past me again. You're stupider than Booster Bowser. Actually, no. That's this hard to solve. Just ignore that idiot. That idiot. I just don't think I could take a world without wishes. We need to go and find those star pieces now. Princess, you can't be serious. You're not thinking of joining them, are you? Well, she better. Come on. She's she's a, she's an awesome bitch. She can handle herself. This is sheer madness. You're a princess. What will people say? Dude, stop being so, like, I don't know, sexist. I don't care. Things seem so hopeless right now. I'm tired. I think I need to lie down in my room for a while. Mario, Mallow, Gino, and Bowser. You too. Good luck. Oh, so she's really not joining us? God. Now then. Thanks to Mario, the princess is back. I now declare this date to be known forever as... Hey, wait a minute. You don't suppose... Could it have been this smithy who attacked our kingdom? No, really? You think? I fear we have no choice to No cause to rejoice. In fact, Mario, we must ask you yet another favor. You would. Please... On behalf of all of us, you must defeat Smithy. It is the only way we shall ever live in peace again. Yeah. Okay, we'll do it. Princess Toadstool is home and safe, but she has decided to stay at the kingdom. Damn it. She would have been so useful. I guess that awesome trio of, like, healing, the, the triangle of healing, magic, and power will just never be completed. The Triforce, you know. Oh, well. Let's just get a move on. Mario! Whoa! What the hell? What the? What's what's going on here? Hey. Please, Mario. Take me along with you, please. 
Don't worry, Grandma helped me through this one, so no, no one will ever notice that I'm gone. So, let's go find us a star. Hmm, but I wonder where it could be. I have absolutely no idea. Do you? No, actually, we don't really have any leads to go on. Well, apparently Mallow does. He's got a clue, I guess, at times like these. Huh. <gasps> What? What should we do? Yeah, they just kind of had like a click moment in their heads there, but oh. We should ask Grandpa. Grandpa will know the way to go. Okay. Let's do it. Alright, and just as I thought. <laughs> Who are you? Are you the narrator? Has like a personality now? Okay. Toadstool joins the party once again. Okay. And boom. Peace. Okay. Is this guy still here? Avoid fighting the pointy monsters up on Star Hill good to know. If we ever go to an area called Star Hill, then we should not fight the pointy monsters, but this is an LP, so technically, we have to. Alright, um, so we're gonna go ahead and head to Tadpole Pond, I suppose, just like Mal suggested, and hopefully get some wise words of advice from Frog Fuchsius on where we should head next. Alright, Frog Fuchsius, here we are. Give me, give me some answers. I have the latest news, children. I love... A large star has been sighted on Star Hill. And sorry if this isn't the same voice. I don't know. I, I, it's been a long time since I've done this voice. This is like Chuck Hanlon's voice. Oh, Star Hill? Oh yes, that's where you're supposed to go, by the way. So let me right over it, right Yeah, we already know that. That's Frog Fuchsia's suite number 18. Duh. Okay. Yeah, so I guess that's really all the advice he give you, is like, go to Star Hill. Wherever that is. I suppose we were just to assume it's on the end of the map, but... Still, they could be a little less cryptic about that. Actually, I think I need to head to Booster Tower really quick and check. Remember, like, just a few episodes ago when I went up here to check if there was something there and it wasn't there? Now I think it will be there, but I'm just going to cut away here and do the same thing I did last time. If it's not there, then I'll meet you back down at the bottom of the tower, and if it is, then I'll meet you wherever it is. See you in just a millisecond. Okay, guys, it turns out that the thing that I'm looking for actually is here now, thankfully. And uh, just to show you where it is, it's in past this room where uh, all these shy guys or shy sniffits, whatever you, whatever they're called, are like jumping out at you. And I avoided them stealthily on my first way up Booster's Tower. Head into here, and you will see a little something interesting here. This is what looks to be one of the bosses we fought, Knife Guy. And what's he doing? He 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 he. I'm really, really sorry about before. Here, I'll make it up to you. Hee haw. Are we having fun yet? Hee hee hee. Oh, that, okay, that was just practice. This time it's for real. You up to it? Hee hee. Um, what are we doing? I, I guess, of course. Guess we're turning the yellow balls in. If you can, now watch carefully. Okay, so yeah, you actually do have to kind of watch carefully here, and trust me, this is a very rewarding mini game to do. But you have to do it a lot, so I'm probably just going to cut away and show like the different kinds of rewards you can get. But I'm going to show it off at least a few times, or at least once here. Okay, so just watch that yellow ball. And... Okay, um... Touch the... Touch the hand. It's that one. Okay, very good. This Here, the prize goes to the winner. Got a wilt shroom. Yes, a wilt shroom. I actually kind of forget what that does, if anything. I think it restores like 1 HP or something. To wilted. Um, okay, so you can't really do anything with it, I guess. Alright, um, so yeah, that's the first kind of prize you can get. And basically, you just have to do that same thing each time. It doesn't really get harder. It might get faster later on, but yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut away now and show the different prizes you can get until I get the one that I need, or want, rather. Actually, kind of need, but whatever. Let's just cut now. Okay, see ya. Alright guys, I got another different prize this time, a mushroom. It still sucks, but... And better than a wild shroom. Okay. Uh, yeah. There we go. Um, cutting away now. Yeah, and it actually did get a little bit harder in that last round, and I don't know, I might show that. Oh well. Yeah. And, oh, by the way, I think you have to win consecutively here in order to get the prize that is really worth it, so... Be sure not to try and... Be, just... Be sure not to lose. That's the main thing. And I might as well just leave this one in since I've already talked pretty well through it. Okay, got another mushroom. That's great. Okay, toss away the wilt room and cutting away. Alright guys, I got a rotten mush, whatever the hell that is. Let's see. 
Items maxed out. Uh, oh god. Ew, it's rotten. Somehow I don't think that's better than a mushroom, so I'm just gonna toss that out. Okay, nasty. That one went fast, but I still got it. And that's a moldy mush. Well, it's better than rotten mush, I suppose. I don't know. There's mold growing on it. Oh god. Horrible. Okay, so apparently it actually does get a lot faster as you've seen from the past two that I showed. Whoa, wait, here's something new. Okay, you deserve this. Get a bright card. That's it. that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and throw away a mushroom, I suppose. Um, it'll let you get into my brother's casino, wherever that is. Yep, so now we can access Great Guy's Casino whenever we reach it, I suppose. But yeah, I think you can actually get other prizes from there. I just got, like, random crap, like mushrooms and rotten stuff. But I think you can actually get other stuff, like maybe different kinds of syrups, like honey syrup or, uh, or, like, a uh, maple syrup. And I know you can get, like, mid mushrooms and max mushrooms from that, too, so, yeah. Be on the lookout for those if you if that kind of thing interests you. It's not too interesting for me, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave now. Oh, I didn't start my time back up, so, God... I'm going to have to cut this episode pretty short, according to my timer at least. It might not be short on the YouTube time, but... Oh, well. Okay, so now that we're done with that, uh... Marry more. Is there anything I need to do in Mary... I, there's, like... I have to stay in the inn, don't I? Yeah. Uh, am I, like, low on HP or... No. Okay, I'm going to, like, wait until I'm, like, low on HP or something to start staying in that inn, and if I, if I never come to that kind of point, I'll just stay in the inn and show you what I can achieve from that. And Star Hill. It doesn't look like a hill. It looks more like just a random giant meteor. But, okay. Alright, so we got some signs here to marry more. Talk to the flower. And Stargate will open. What? To marry more? To Star Hill. Okay, so this goes to Star Hill, I guess. And this goes back to the overworld. So, um, yeah. I like this area. This is just an awesome atmospheric area. But, again, watch out for the pointy enemies, remember. This is Star Hill. Wishes which were transformed at Star Road fall from here. But, some wishes that haven't been granted yet are falling because Smithy destroyed Star Road. Frog Futures mentioned hearing about Star Peace on this hill. Let's see if we can find it. Alright, so we've got some random enemies here, but I think just, for, just to be safe here, I'm going to end off the episode and we'll explore Star Hill next time. It's a very intriguing... I'll, I'll be at blue area but yeah it's not a blue screen of death don't worry it's just it's just the game I mean, and I like the music too it's pretty awesome so thank you everyone for watching until next time this is Argon Matrix signing out thank you and good night